This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. just fine. It's uh, important that we do this because uh, uh, I, uh, we may not be on the air and then I wouldn't know it, but I, uh, we, it does look like we are. So, hi, how are you? Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me, let me show them you. There you are. Hi. Yeah. You know, you drive me crazy. What did I do now? Here's what? If, <laughs> I mean, Mr. Alex, who leaves the flame on the, on the stove every day. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, really? I said, I have to show you something in the kitchen. He said, I'm not coming in. He said, you turn it off. I said, no, you turn it off. You left it on. And I said, I'm not going to turn it off. And it was driving And there it you, sat for four it, hours. It, it was driving you nuts. That's true. <laughs> Wasn't it? Oh, huh? Yes, huh? it was. Yeah. And, and, and it, it, you know, it's not going to catch fire, you know, so how are you? How are you? Fine. How are you? I don't know. I thought I'd just check in and see how you're doing since <laughs> you're always in there watching some show and oh, that, I don't, that I don't want to watch. Hey, you got, you watch it all evening. You watch it all day. Well, I'm I get I get three hours. You're not canceling you it. Number, number one. You're not I, canceling wait, wait, Netflix. Hold on a Hold you're on not. Hold on. For a second. First of all, I said I'll pay for first it. First of all, I don't spend the whole day watching television. There, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I will watch one of the shows hey, I've got. I've banged. got three hours from the time yeah. I come home and the time I go to bed. And you and, and you and, watch afternoon after afternoon. You, plus, well, you could wind after you I could, go you to could, bed, you could just sit down and talk to your husband. Yeah, right. What do you mean? Yeah, right. We don't talk. You could talk to me. My book is better. See? We don't talk. See? So there you See? go. I make my case. <laughs> I rest my case. Why, why are we even married? <laughs> I don't know. Why? Well, it's the last of. No, no, this is just... Who wants I, to go I, out and look for another it, person? It, 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 it's like... Um, <laughs> the reason I don't get a cat at this point in my life is because... You'll die before... I'll it. die before the cat dies. And uh, I don't want that cat staring at me every day going, I'm going to be here. You're not, you know. So I feel the same way about you now. Well, you're going to be there. The only reason you married me was to be able to have somebody who might go before you. No, you're going after me. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. I was going to leave. By the way. Move your hat up like this. No. They can't see I your face. I don't care. They can't see your I face. I don't care. I know you don't care. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go turn the flame on. You do that. I'm, I'm going to go turn it on. Nobody's watching tonight, by the way. Well, so there see? we go. See? The fighting so, just doesn't I'll, work. I'll go back to my movie. We were fighting really good here, and it didn't help <laughs> the numbers at all. Well. So anyway... Uh, uh, what, where, what was I saying? Oh, so, so you know, I mean, I would like to think that the reason that we got married in our older years was to have somebody to be with. Company. Yeah. Company. Somebody to be with. Yeah. And, and, You're and, my company. And you come home, you lie in bed from the minute you get home, and you just watch one endless show after another. I don't care. I have a bad back. My back is uh, killing me by the time I come home, and I have to lie down. Uh, I have to. Wouldn't standing up be better for your back than lying down? Not really. I sit all. Not sitting is the worst. Sitting thing you is can the do. worst. But the I mean, worst. standing. If you were to stand, I stand a lot too. Why don't you fall asleep every night standing? Why don't you shut the fuck up? Why don't you eat? Me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blow me. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Those days are past. Anyway. Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> you don't love me, do you? No. See, I, I, I got a straight answer out of her. 
Well, he's a good friend. That fucking stupid Trumpy <laughs> bear back there loves me more than you do. <laughs> it's yours. I willed it to you. Huh? Oh, you willed that to me? That forty-six dollar bear, and it's the it's a the it's the most uncuddly bear I've ever you know. I didn't want to put it with my collection. You, really? <laughs> my you bear could, collection. You know, in the old days, they don't have many more though. What? They used to have the giant teddy bears. They still Costco. have them. They still have absolutely. Them? I guess I'm so used to them now, I don't see them anymore. Don't you remember what I got Echo's baby last year? The real gigantic big. Yeah, but they had huge baggage. ones at, yeah. at Costco, and they were like one of the top selling items at Costco. They still have them, Alex. They're still available. And it, uh, it, it, you know, it only costs like twenty two bucks. This thing was forty six bucks for if you can see it back there. That ugly fucking bear Trumpy. That because they put some hair on top of it, it's supposed to be Trump. Oh, and a, Trumpy. Red, a red tie. A red tie. Is it a red tie? Yeah, it's a red tie. <laughs> and we got a certificate of authenticity. Yeah. How about that? So anyway, so uh, no, I'm I'm uh, I want to get rid of Netflix. You get rid of Netflix. I'm keeping it. How are you keeping? I said I'll pay for it. It's in my it's in my name. Don't do it. They they have. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I want to keep it right there. When it started out. When it started out, it was nine ninety nine a month. It's it ten eleven. No, it, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you an update. <laughs> Go play with your computer. You seem to enjoy that more than talking with me. I'm talking to you. No, yes, I when am. we started, I think when I started with them, they were seven ninety nine. What's this? Netflix. Oh well, that was years ago. And then it went to eight ninety nine. Yeah. And then it went to nine ninety nine, and then they said, if you want four K, you have to pay eleven ninety nine. So we don't get four K. Yes, we do. Oh, we are. Oh, you don't want it four K? I don't care. I just want it. It won't look as good. Oh, stop complaining. Like that godless look great in four K. Do you see what a complainer he is? No, but anyway, uh, they raised the they raised the price stop. another two bucks. Now I figured this one out. Okay, do you know how many people subscribe to? Netflix worldwide? In the millions. In the millions? Yeah. Really? Billion? Just, just the millions? Billion? No, not a billion. In the millions. A hundred million people. Oh, well, that's worldwide. in the millions. If they raise everybody two dollars, how much is that more a year? I don't know. I don't have my ad. Well, I will I will I will I will tell you. It's two twelve. <laughs> That happens to be two two hundred thousand uh, two hundred million dollars a month, okay, two hundred million dollars a month. And your point is, and then that is about two and a half billion dollars more a year by raising everybody two dollars. It's all right. Wait till net neutrality comes about. And they say it's because they want to do all this wonderful better programming. I am so sick of Netflix original. Wait until net neutrality comes out. Everything is going to be expensive. You want to know what they say is a net, uh, Netflix? Uh, I get these, shall we say, purloined copies of like Arrow, Supergirl. I don't watch any of these. Oh, yeah, Supergirl, uh, 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 Legends of, the, of, of Tomorrow, uh, and there's one of the show, oh, Riverdale. And they all and the 1080p versions all say Netflix, and then they have imprinted at the beginning of it a Netflix original. Hey, they paid for it. They could say they whatever pay, they they, they paid pay for, for it. the rights. They paid for the rights. Okay, so they, so they could say anything. The they could say whatever original. they want. They you paid know, for the rights. When they say a Netflix original, I want to know that they paid for the production and it's an original production for them. They bought it. It's it, theirs. Uh, they could uh, say whatever they want. Uh, uh, a Star Trek uh, Discovery is a Netflix original everywhere hey, else in the world. Whatever they want to say. Well, I want to know what they're paying for it. What's it to you? But anyway, and why, well, don't pay for it. And and let me not have to pay two dollars extra. Every I'll month. give you the twenty four dollars. Oh really? Yeah. What are you going to do about the rest of the eleven, uh, twelve, uh, to one hundred and twenty, uh, one hundred and thirty six dollars a year that I pay for it? We pay. I'm just paying the extra increase. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So you can watch these endless. Whatever. What, what was the one you watched? What was it? What was it? You don't even know what it was called. 
What was it called? I can't remember. And what was it? It was my, you mean my Turkish one? Your Turkish one. <laughs> Your Turkish telenovela. I loved it. It was how many chapters? It was about 50. I think it was a little more than that. Whatever. I thought it was going to be seven or eight now. Now, what point. that means is that is 52 hours, let's say, of television. This is to show you what a great life I have. We, we have the good TV set in the bedroom. We have the 4K in the bedroom. I'm stuck with the uh, ancient uh, 1080p. Bring it. In, bring the in, 4K in the other room. Oh, yeah, yeah. You would love that. And you want the 46-inch TV fine. set? fine. Bring it you in. You want the 46-inch in, in the bedroom? in front of the bed. <laughs> I'll wheel it up to the bed. Wow. They're smiling, by the way. They're not as many of them tonight, but they're smiling. Well, or wait a minute, were they, or was was that anger? You got 15 minutes to smile. Oh boy. Anyway. So. So we have an anniversary coming up in a few so months. So I'm getting rid of Netflix. I'm getting rid of you. Wait, we have an <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have an anniversary coming up in March. Is it a wedding anniversary? I have to look in the book <laughs> because you have all these anniversaries Not anymore. and I can't keep up I've with. I've cut them out. I think it is our wedding anniversary. I've cut them all out. Isn't it? Our, oh, you've cut them all yeah. out. I mean, the only time we go out is when I make the reservation. Well, because you're the uh, hey. you're, you're the um, um, you're the uh, um, whatever. What's the job you have at work? What's your title? Office manager. Oh, you're the office manager of our house. <laughs> no, I don't like I don't like phoning up and making reservations. You don't like doing anything. Don't you like, don't like going outside. What? We're going to dinner tomorrow night. Yeah, but when was the last time you went outside? When, oh, I haven't been out for a couple of days, but well, it's cold out there. Well, get some exercise. I went out yesterday. Yeah, for what, 10 minutes to go down the corner? To get bread, yes. <laughs> Well, so so. Listen, I'm I'm dying. I know that I am on my last legs. Which ones? Uh, both of them. <laughs> no, I have all this stuff. I feel like I'm constantly tired. Well, I am too. So there. Okay. This is a this is a miserable situation. It is. A miserable situation. So anyway, we don't have as many people watching us this so week as we had we, last week. No, 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 it's not. It's not even close to time yet. Now let me tell you about something that pissed me off today. What did I do now? No, you didn't do anything. This is uh, Facebook. I am. You know, we use Facebook Live as a method of doing this program live, so you can see it in video. Which I don't know why it's done as a radio show. We Look, don't. The bubbles. We don't. What? The little bubbles. Yeah, the little bubbles, right. Uh, we do we Thank do you. this on Facebook Live, and it really, I don't know why, just so you can see a bunch of people talking. Yeah, I don't know. I'll tell you something. That's where I go first to watch your program. Really? Yeah, mm. it's just easy. Anyway, so I, um, last night, I did a whole thing about Al Franken and about the way they pushed him out and made him... A sacrificial lamb. I've come to believe that that's correct. A sacrificial yeah. lamb. That, that if there wasn't the the Roy Moore sh situation going on, he'd still be there. Okay. I mean, if there wasn't the Harvey yeah. Weinstein. Yeah. You know, the worst they usually do to people uh, with things like that is they rebuke them or they give them some kind of chastisement or whatever. But no, he was forced out by that cunt Kirsten Gillibrand and her pack of female wolverines go slow here uh, uh, as a sacrificial lamb so they could then go after Roy Moore and not have to say but you got Al Franken well you, you know if you can't answer that question then you don't deserve to be in the Senate and quite frankly I'm going to make sure you're not I'm not going to vote for you and I'm going to do everything I can to make he's sure he's going to be accepted they, I mean, he's already said uh, what's his name Roy Moore no McDonald um, the head of the Senate uh, uh, Mitch, uh, Mitch McConnell. Mitch McDonald said already. McConnell. McConnell said that they're going to accept him. Well, no, he didn't. He didn't exactly. He kind of said that. If it gets voted in, he's part of the Senate. He's part of the old boys club. Yeah, they're not going to well, do anything know, about it. And, and, anyway, it is. It well, is. All the Democrats, terrible. you know, resign, and the Republicans, you know, and they're yeah, stay in. So anyway, where was I? Uh, oh, oh yeah. 
So the last night I did this thing on, on Franken, and I felt it was important to play his speech before the Senate. So I went and used a clip that was put up by uh, C-SPAN. Well, that's public. Well, here's the thing. So I, it did play. They didn't cut me off. So apparently it went through the system when I did it live. But when I then did my cleaned up version of the show that I always put in there, which is called the recorded version, uh, it immediately removed it. Saying, basically saying you can't do that. You know, somebody this is, monitor this is, it? This is copywritten material. It's now, not copywritten. I know. This is where Facebook sucks. They've got a little machine down there that makes the decision. They don't make the decision. But if you, if you call... I mean, and, and, and somewhere along the line, C-SPAN said, yes, we want to be listed as something that's copyrighted. All right? Yet, when they're doing the Senate, I mean, I should be able to play the Senate if it's on CBS or if it's on NBC Absolutely. because that it's is a public that well more than that it's a what they call a pool feed in other words there's one one, feed. one or two cameras and they're constantly feeding the senate and that feed is then picked up by all the networks and whatever and so that is really public domain yeah it doesn't belong to anyone and i wasn't allowed to show it now youtube allowed me to so what i did is i simply took last night's show and i took the video that's on youtube and I put it on the YouTube thing on my site, okay, mm -hmm. on my Facebook page. And uh, that's the way I got it on. But fuck Facebook. Oh, it's on your Facebook page now? Yes, but it's the, it's the uh, YouTube version of oh, it. Oh, I see. See, it's not the, because I tried to make a Facebook yeah. version and then I put it up and I uh, went back a couple minutes later and it wouldn't work. But and you they took, took the it YouTube. Off version and put it on Facebook yes oh wow. well, I didn't no, know you could no, do that no because what you do is you say share oh, you, you say share it to my Facebook page I see and then it goes over and puts it on the Facebook page right right all right yeah so that's how I got around it now of course that doesn't get censored by Facebook <laughs> you know uh, Facebook sucks and I don't know what to do about it I would like to dump Facebook um, but uh, uh, too many people kind of rely on it. It's too easy. A lot of people are a little, even though YouTube is is uh, is is well known and so on. Somehow it doesn't. It's not as easy for people to get. For me, even I, I'll even go to Facebook as opposed to Gabnet. It's just there. It's always open on my on my yeah, well, computer. Yeah, but you can always office. go. You can always go to, after the show. Go to gabnet.net. Up in the right hand corner is the video. Just click on it, expand it to full screen, and you've got our show. That's And that's the YouTube version. I understand. It's just easier to click on the, on the, on the go on your page. Yeah, but I mean, I would I love... I do it for convenience. I would love to just dump Facebook altogether, to be honest with you. Because uh, it, it, to begin with, um, they're just getting to be... To, it's this is not what I call Nazi-like behavior. This is absolute utter censorship, because to claim that uh, uh, C-SPAN has any kind of copyright over a Senate proceeding is wrong. Yeah, I agree. It's absolutely wrong, and I wish there were a place I could complain, <laughs> but there isn't. That's true. Try and complain on Facebook. You know, you can't, you can't. And if you do complain, you're never going to get a reply. I've done that before. I've done it when they've had literally had issues with their, with their system for me to do this show. And I wrote them notes about it and I never got a reply, never got a reply. Hmm. So at least that I can remember. So, I mean, uh, I, I wish there were a place where last night I could have written and said, well, why'd you take that off? I, I was running uh, Al Franken speech and it's from the Senate and I don't care if I take it from CBS or ABC or C-SPAN C or Bob's website. That's a pool feed. <laughs> yes, it is. You know, if I were a, even a, the smallest of networks around, I could have rights to use that pool feed. That's right. And because it happens in the Senate, it's and uh, it comes under something else too, which is called fair usage because I was using it to make a comment. I was using it to make a political point. 
And uh, but yet I had all this pr trouble last night, and I just this is the second time it's happened. It happened once with with Funny or Die, and that one I can understand a little more because they they do old copyrights on their material. I just felt their material was about uh, about uh, net neutrality, and I felt it was a very important piece, and that people should see it. Uh, no, I was in fact I was taken off while I ran it. Well, you know. Uh, and, and both YouTube and Facebook wouldn't let me run it, okay? So I learned my lesson there. But then I went, oh, I guess I could run, I can run the Senate for crying out loud. I don't care if it says C-SPAN on it. They don't own the rights to the Senate. Maybe they think they do, you know. You ever watch their boring talk shows? No, I just watch the hearings. There's this guy and he takes phone calls from I people. <laughs> and people can call up and go, hi, Bob. You're a fucking motherfucking cocksucking son of a bitch. And Bob will look at the camera and go, thank you very much for your call. Next. And he go to the next one. He's supposed to be very. <laughs> and he doesn't, he doesn't somebody, crack a smile. Somebody, somebody, so, he doesn't crack a smile, nothing. Stop rubbing. Uh, uh, ne next caller. Yes, I think we should kill all Jews. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your opinion. Next. Uh, next. <laughs> you know. It's true. I have. I've seen them every once in a while. Yeah. Oh man. No, my eyes. Should are I shift tearing. over? My eyes are tearing. Well, the, what time does it it's say? It's ten twenty-six. Well, what time do I usually go you to the? Start go getting to, ready go, go about ten twenty-seven. No, I don't. Ten twenty-six. I don't. No, I'm not. You can I'm come not. over all you want. I'm <laughs> just gonna. I'm. I'm just. I'll, there I'll, she goes. Oh, what? No. No. There just she goes. sit over there until <laughs> it's time. Okay. Boy, she's a pain in the ass. We do have a lot of people now. Good, see? Yeah. So uh, we should keep arguing. Keep arguing. We always argue. Huh? We always argue. Well, I mean, you know, I don't know what you do, but you push buttons and stuff. I didn't and then, touch then I get Then I get, I get this plaintive voice from the bedroom. Alex, <laughs> there's something wrong with the television set. And then I have to go in there, and it was something she pushed on a remote. I or didn't something. push anything. It was like the other day with the computer; it was black. Well, now sometimes things like that happen. I tried to restart it; and, didn't do and, it. And and I restarted it, and what it did, I think it tried. You said that it was. I think it was in the process, process of installing. Of installing, yeah, and, and Microsoft's install, uh, and Mac's installs just drive me nuts. But you may have it set so that it automatically I does it. I didn't set anything. You set it when you set it up. Oh, now I'm being blamed. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, anyway, so tonight I go in there and there's this thing up in the corner. And I can't remember how to get rid of it. <laughs> and uh, finally we got rid of it. Okay. It's rebooting. Let me, let me, let me, no, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Just sit over there. It's not time yet. 1027. It's not time yet. I, Start calling. Get, get to your phones, folks. I'm trying to get these numbers higher. Come on. <laughs> get to the phones. You know. I'm going to beat you up. What do you mean you're going to beat Is that any <laughs> nice way to talk to your husband? My husband of convenience? That husband? Oh, husband of convenience? <laughs> you just said. Why, did you marry me for my money? <laughs> really? yeah. Well, I do have more money than you do. But. Well, no, you have a co-op. You have, a, you have, a co -op. Yeah. You have that co-op. Yes, yes, yes. So when you drop dead, I get that and I can that's sell it and I can go out and buy lots of wax lips. Well, that's why I'm going first. That you have to deal with. It's all yours. But I don't want you going first. I want to go first. Because then there'd be another person that I didn't buy a tombstone I don't for. want a tombstone. Oh, you I want, want to be, be yeah, burnt. You, I want to be ashes. You want to be cremated. Where you want your ashes spread? Dwayne will give you a couple vegetable or beautiful flower gardens to do it. Have you talked to him about yes. this? <laughs> What, and we're going to go out to like Central Park and drop yeah, the you. Cons conservatory. Drop you in the posies? Yeah. Spread me around. Hmm. The nutrients are very good for plants and, and vegetables. Are they really? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Well, yeah. Okay. Me, I'm going well, we to. We come from the same place where plants I, and vegetables come I don't, come I don't from. just want to be buried. Oh, we're really up. We have a lot of people now. <laughs> we should just keep going with this. This is a winning deal. It's 1029 and I'm rolling we over. We should run a show every night. <laughs> yeah, right. We should. Just doing this. Oh, just sit there. <laughs> if you do it at four in the afternoon, I might be interested. <laughs> no, because you got to watch TMZ. Now, who got me on the TMZ? Well, I, t I turned you on. Okay, and who sits next to me when I watch TMZ? And I don't know why we do, but it's they have this list, and it moves. And, and you, you know, know what it is? It, to me, it's a good break between 
work and just it doesn't require much of your brain i just have to chill out when i come home yeah. i mean i i go through nine nine and a half hours every day of not so much that it's intent it's problem solving that's what i do okay I'm shut up it's time solving. now i'm rolling over <laughs> in the clothes you're, you're rolling over here rolling she comes over. here she comes yeah. ladies and gentlemen there she is okay uh. How, how caller, the you? first caller that comes, I'm this, this is the closest we get to each other an it entire is. day. Yes, my little booby. Come what? Here. What? Mm. <laughs> is that isn't, gross? Isn't that gross? <laughs> Two old people kissing. Don't you hate that? Don't you just hate that? Let me see here. Let me do a few things here so that I can uh, uh, get the uh, the thing up and running here. Uh, we do use uh, Skype. And if you don't know how to do it, just go to gabnet.net. It's very simple, gabnet.net. And gabnet.net will automatically uh, show you uh, over on the left-hand side, right-hand side of the page everything you need to know about getting onto the citizens panel, which is not just one person talking or two or three or four or five or six. It can be like, I don't like it to go over 10 because then it becomes too unwieldy. Last night it was almost getting that way, where it was uh, unwieldy. <laughs> but anyway, so oh look, see they all little little. Uh, you see the little little things there. Yeah. Little little. Uh, little uh, little. Yeah, yeah, the little. Uh, 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 it, do a lot of smiley faces so she can feel loved. No call, know. so I could go to sleep. Well, you can go to sleep now. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Night night. Night night. Oh. Mm. I'll wait till the first person calls. You'll wait till the first person calls? <laughs> okay. okay, nobody call then. Oh, please call. So she has to sit here till Where's midnight. Where's Phil when you need him? Sit here till midnight with moi. Where's Phil when you need him? Where's Phil when we need him? Yeah. Uh, I, is he? Oh, yeah, he's going to be here tonight. Yeah. Where's Jeff? Where are all the guys? Jeff. Where's everybody? Isn't Jeff Stein? Phil? Oh, Jeff Stein. Jeff Stein, of course. Excuse me. Look at the, the. You notice my shirt, my, my, my. Uh, Your little shirt got some muzzies. Muzzies? What are muzzies? Little like white pieces. Can of you white. buy me some, like these pajama pants that are in a solid color that don't make me look like I'm a I'm a golfer. <laughs> um, see, these are the things. This is what I'm talking about. She's wearing them. Yours are nicer than mine. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, Charlene Martinez is the first one. I'm, uh, hey, the first one up for crying out there loud. She is. Hold on Hi. a second. Hi. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Here comes Charlene. There we are. Hello, Charlene. How are you this evening? Oh, I'm okay. It's a little chilly, right? It's going to snow. I know. Well, like, how much? By the time I get up to go to the gym, it'll be snowing. Like, are we getting accumulation, do you think? They or? say, but I doubt it. It's all talk. Uh, maybe flurries, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wonder what that hiss is. We have a slight hiss tonight. Hmm. It's coming out of your ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I just would like a little more respect. Hey, Phil? Phil? There he is. Phil? Are you there, Phil? Here he Hello, comes. Phil. There he is. Hey, how hey. Hi, how are you? All right. Yeah. Uh, slapping back or something? No. A hiss. It's not. No, this hiss is kind of gone because. Uh, you completed. Are you there, part. Charlene? Yeah, there she is. No. Oh. No, we, she we, we lost her. That's why we lost the hiss. Oh. Oh, here uh, she comes again. Well, I uh, enjoy hearing you guys fight. It's uh, good practice for me. Yeah, yeah. Does does uh, <laughs> does does Faye treat you that way as badly as she treats me? No, Faye pouts. Uh, <laughs> she she's uh, you know from the Philippines. Uh, yeah. She wouldn't uh, you know uh, give me a hard time. She just goes away and pouts. Alex is a powder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, what do you mean I pout? You I don't pout. pout. I don't when pout. You're in a depressed. I'm depressed. Yeah, and I he get the. Up, I get he the, snuggled up in the guest room, like all in the in the quilt, like a little. You know, I'm depressed. Are you talking and to there, the microphone so they can hear you? And there he was all day in bed, wrapped up in a quilt, because I'm yeah. depressed. Well, we don't have time to be depressed right now. Why? Because why? I can't be. 
What do you mean you can't? Because I go to work. I can't be depressed. Well, you can be depressed. No, you can't. You, how do you function when you're depressed? Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm very... He's milking no, it. I'm very, I'm very considerate. Don't I send you off to work nicely every morning? <laughs> A house husband. He is. I, yeah. I, 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 He's taking over the chores. I get up. I make her breakfast before she goes to work. No. And then... <laughs> what? No. No, what do well, I do? You make the bed, which I'm glad. No, 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 he no. What do I do bed. when you're leaving? Nothing. You're asleep. I see. You got <laughs> the idea. <laughs> yeah. You lied and tried to tell us you make breakfast. Yeah, he's asleep. I feel he like I kind of feel himself. I kind of feel a little bit like a pimp. You know, <laughs> I send her off to make the money for the house. You know, how much money did you make today, bitch? Remember when yeah. I used to have dinner with Arthur and bring you the leftovers? Yeah, he, she used to have this friend. She was kind of a... What, 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 he was what like an friend? adopted father. Yeah, and she he, she would have dinner with him. He'd take her out to very fancy restaurants. Which and I then She'd eat very little of it and then bring the rest home to me. <laughs> so I was eating like from some of the best restaurants in New York. Saying that he was a food whore. Will you talk into the microphone? <laughs> he used to say that you were a food whore. <laughs> it was a food whore. What'd you bring me, bitch? <laughs> you know? You ate very well. Yeah, I. Uh, by I the, ate very well. By the way, you can then turn me in for that as being sexual harassment for calling you bitch. You know, it's coming to the point where well, this you, is really you're becoming, be afraid this to help, shake a woman's help hand. Help me. Yeah, this is really becoming an act, isn't it? I, I think if we did this, if we did this on a consistent basis every day, we would get a huge audience. Just two people bickering for an hour. I think if we bickered every day for an hour, he'd get a knife in the neck. That's what you well, would get. You know, Alex, what you ought to do if you really want to bicker is become a Republican, and then you can uh, the two of you can argue about politics. why become a Republican, Phil. Well, because they're both uh, Democrats or liberals. Uh, Come and give it back. We're not liberals. Please do not call me a liberal, Phil. Uh, He's a lefty. Uh, I, He's a lefty. I'm a lefty. Uh, a, a, uh, what do they call them? Pansies or snowflakes? I'm or... a fucking commie. Look at this shirt. Look <laughs> at the hat. Yeah, I always knew it. Huh? I always knew it. Yeah. Now, I restart reading for the Red Book. Yeah. I've, yes. I've got the Red yes, Book the in Red the book. other room. I found it the other day. I should have brought it in and just had it here. And every now and then. You start reading Start reading for the chapters. Is it in English or Chinese? It's in English. It's an English version. Yeah. Um, you know. Uh, yeah, but I've got, I've literally got it. So, you know. It well, says in Mao's book, Phil's to be quiet for the rest of the night. I'll bet you, I'll bet, I'll bet you, you Mao's book sells more copies to tourists. In, in China than anything else. I oh, mean, yeah. look at what I bought. I bought a Red Army hat, and I bought this. I love this shirt. I mean, I but love... But he can't wear it outside. <laughs> well, I don't know that I can't. I no, just... When you, if, when you, when it would first, go over well. When Obama was in, in, in service, you couldn't wear that. Remember? Do you remember? In so, service? Well, when he was president. When he was president. It's called being being in office is the term. Yeah, that you got it's first amendment rights. You know, yeah. First Amendment protects that uh, uh, Mao Obama deal. Yeah, so I get to wear my my Obama Mao. My, he's he's dressed as a uh, soldier, as a Red Army soldier, and I, and, and he probably was when he was born in Kenya. <laughs> I see. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to say good night. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. Wave goodbye. Good night. Good night. Everybody, night, uh, smiley faces for her as she leaves so that she oh, can boy. see them. Nah. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Bye. Get lost. A lot of kissing tonight. Uh, God damn it. That's tomorrow night. Wham. Hit the head with the prime. I hate her more than Kirsten Gillibrand. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Do you see all those uh, uh, right-wing uh, people coming out for Franken? Oh, listen, I'm telling you, if you go to Kirsten Gillibrand's site, yeah, uh, it, it, there are nothing but people there railing against her, just absolutely going against her. Uh, I can't believe he's gone, and it was so sad. Not gone yet. He's not gone yet. I think oh, that he good. should reconsider, he to be very honest with you, you know? He may just be trying to ride the thing through. But there was this Christine Flowers from the uh, Philadelphia uh, News. Yeah. She's uh, very, very right wing. And she was saying that, uh, you know, she was disappointed that he folded. And he thought, she thought that this movement 
has just gone too far uh, to the point where uh, you got to be afraid of uh, shaking a, a woman's hand in the workplace. Uh, I would yeah. say that that's not a, that's not a bad uh, a point to make. Yes, Jeff, I noticed you had your hand up. A little yes, I got to re-listen to the whole speech from our uh, from uh, Franklin. Yeah, and and then also your part that mm-hmm. you put together mm-hmm. last night. Yeah, on about your senators who you don't particularly like anymore. Well, I never like some I, of them. You don't like at all. I never, ever. Li- I never liked Schumer. I never yes. liked him. I always felt that Schumer is a real whore. You know. Uh, but I thought uh, that part of uh, last night's show was terrific. Yeah, you should be very proud of it. It was put together. Very oh, well. I know. I thought it was a great show too, Alex. Well, I, I, I you know, I wrote these people, and my friend Rick Checkman said to me, uh, "Well, it's not going to do any good." And I said, "It does me some good. Just the fact that I feel that I wrote them. Of course, she won't read it. You know, I hope she goes to her Facebook page. There, uh, I, I was pretty hard pressed to find anybody who agreed with what she did." And there were people there. There was one woman there that says, I was a victim of rape, and I think you're full of crap. Yeah. You know? uh, d- uh, why don't you send it to the New York Times? Uh, to, you know, no, because the- it's too short. It's not an op-ed. Oh. It's not. Uh, the- and, and I'm sure they've got more than enough op-eds about this sitting there and people trying to get them published. Uh, yeah. But. You know, I mean, I just I was so bothered by it and and so so utterly disappointed in Kirsten Gillibrand, who I've had a lot of respect for. You know, I felt that, uh, you know, her politics were pretty much in the right place. And then she led this pack of wolverines, Mm -hmm. as I call them, you know, uh, on him. And we all know that the main reason it happened in the first place was, as I said last night, that if there wasn't Roy Moore, he'd still be in the Senate. Hey, yeah. did you predicted uh, something that's starting to come true on this Roy Moore, for instance. Uh, his fir- uh, One of his accusers, who uh, said she had proof of uh, her contact with him in her yearbook, now admits that she wrote most of it herself. No, she wrote, no was- she wrote notations under the uh, uh, signature, but the signature is his. The signature was his, and it was just basically, you know, con- congratulations on your school. You know, it was. It had nothing to do look, with look, uh, look. Just because know. some people come through, look, you can say, okay, this woman came through and said she was lying. Let's just say that. All right. To be, you know, whatever. Uh, and uh, uh, very interesting. Uh, she was lying. Okay, so what? He still was banned from the mall for some reason. That was because he was pursuing a woman that worked in the mall, and she complained to her boss. Okay, let's say that's the reason why. That's enough. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's called entrapment. It's it's, it's called entrapment. Am I right, Alex? And by the way, you're giving Roy Moore's version of it. Well, you know, who else are you going to give? What I, mean, I what I else, read, what I read was he was banned from the mall because he was coming on to young girls and following them around. It's called entrapment, isn't it? You know, uh, it may. You no, know, what you're saying that what you're saying, Mike, is entrapment because they're trying to entrap him. He hadn't. He didn't do anything. He just was a creep. And 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 some women. Thank felt you. Creepy. That's a, that's what he is. Uncle it's Creepy. Creep. Yeah. Why? But a creep. Why, can, you a ex- can you explain, Phil, to me why that sob needs to be senator? Because he ran. He won the primary, and people are voting for him. That's why. What? Two Okies in, a, in the back room of a bar? It doesn't matter. Oh, it, could be, it could be a fishmonger like yourself. You know? Uh, uh, the, a dumb run person like yourself, too. Well, I wouldn't vote for the son of a bitch if I lived there. It just happens to be he represents the people that are down there, and they voted for him. Now, if he wins, this guy Jones may win. You know, uh, we can't believe the polls. Uh, you know they're saying that uh, I, 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 six I, I, ahead. I, I, huh? Who's ahead? 
Uh, I thought the poll said Roy Moore was six points ahead. I, I think Roy Moore is going to win it. He uh, may. So then what are the Republicans going to do about Roy Moore? Well, you know, That's true. he's got uh, due process in his First Amendment rights. Well, I mean, wait a minute. So does Al Franken, but he didn't seem to get it. Al Franken it. folded. He shouldn't have folded. Well, Al Franken shouldn't have folded. And I think a lot of people today are telling him you shouldn't have folded. You know, and, you and, I, blame... I, and I think there's still a chance he could come back if he just simply said, I have had a lot of people demanding that I not quit. So um, I'm going to listen to them, and I'm going to come back here, and let's have our little hearing, and let me present my evidence. And if you want to rebuke me, go ahead and rebuke me. But, you know, you're not going to rob the people of Minnesota of what is an effective senator. Right. And, and I don't care if this happened or didn't happen. He's, st he's still an effective senator. Well, that's what he should do. And, uh, you know, there's more of them coming out now. There's a Judge Kaczynski from the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Uh, he's been accused of sexual misconduct. And uh, I, I read something that Dustin Hoffman and... Uh, uh, and uh, another, that's well, all. That, no, that's not all. There's a third woman who came forward. Oh, I don't know. I don't, uh, you know. I don't believe a lot... Of, uh, I hate to say this, but I don't believe a lot of these women that come after the initial ones. Because it's kind of a pile-on kind of thing, or, yeah. or trying to see if you can get something out of it, or whatever, and um, you know. But I mean, you know, the thing about about uh, uh, Franken uh, in the things that people said to begin with, most of them were anonymous, and none, most of them amounted to just patting somebody on the ass. And the final one, which said that he tongue kissed some woman and said, well, that's what you get to do when you're an entertainer, he absolutely categorically denied, said it never happened. Sounds like a grab by the pussy thing. And, uh... yeah, yeah, well, that's why somebody did it, because it sounds like what Trump did. Right. Uh, yeah. Yes, Jeff, you had your hand up. Oh, uh, your, your audio, Jeff. Your audio, Jeff. Okay, I'm on now. There you go. Um. I, I listen today also what every one of those uh, un anonymous people had to say. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them were pretty limited as to what was written, what they were willing to say, who really did it, why they did it, when. You know, it was just a, it was just a limited amount of information. I would almost call it no information. Right. Any backgrounds on these people? Uh, were they political <laughs> or nothing? Well, you know, you know what's interesting is this Leanne Tweeden. You know about her? Yeah. That they actually have on videotapes of her at these uh, shows they were doing, going up to the I don't know the sax player or guitar player and patting him on the ass and rubbing her her crotch up against him while he's playing music on stage. That's what they do. It's just that she didn't want to do it with Franken, and I, and you know. You know what I'm what I'm saying. It, it had nothing. It the fact was that she was playing the same game they were. I mean, somebody Absolutely. said if Ed, if that guitar player wanted to charge her with sexual harassment, he could. Yeah. You know, so Tweeden was Tweet and Tweeden. You know, how many? You got a guy like Franken, very outspoken left winger, right? Somebody that most people would like to see out of the Senate. We don't know oh, that these other women weren't put up to this by the Trump administration to try and get uh, get uh, Franken out of there. Well, that's what they're saying about uh, Roy Moore, that the, there were people put up to try and get Roy Moore out of there. Yeah, well, you know something. Yeah, but they, they were 12 year they, olds. Listen, they can elect Roy Moore to the Senate. God bless him, because then a lot of us will never go to Alabama. Not that I have been there except one time in my life, but, you know, yes, uh, uh, me, you, <laughs> Charlene, you. you know, you know, I was always told, uh, you know, with Clinton, right, that whole Monica Lewinsky thing was just the Republicans, you know, digging up dirt to try to get the Democrats out and the Republicans in. And then it kind of happened because then the Bushes started getting in right after that or something. Well, no, so what, maybe well, that's what this is. It's just a partisan thing like, you know, to get Al Franken out. And that's what it was. Baby. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would was. say so. And, uh, you know, uh, but nobody nobody's taking that into consideration. 
Right. They're you acting know? like I mean, he, he, he he's, de- he's denied that most of these happen or that he didn't know these women. He doesn't remember it happening, you know. And, but that's uh, why I'm so angry at him because it's actually, you know, a lot of stupid idiots are going to think that he actually did something and is guilty. Because some people still think Clinton is guilty of something. And, uh, you know, it's terrible anymore. Like, they bring up everybody's sex life and everything. I mean, like you always say that, Alex. Me too. I don't care that there was blowjobs going on in the Oval Office and everything. You know, I don't care as long as he was God, a good president. God, listen, like, right? God, God bless uh, Clinton that he could get himself a blowjob in the, in, in, right. in, in yeah. the Oval More Office. More power to him. Well, you know? if I became president of the United States... And I was in the Oval Office. The first thing I would do is get everybody out of the room except a hooker we brought in and have them give me a blow job in the Oval Office just to say right. I got blown in the Oval Office. Right, um, right. Everyone should be allowed to do that. I never found that the Clinton thing amounted to a hill of beans. To begin with, who was the pursuer in that case? It was Monica Lewinsky. She was, right. She was right. pursuing him. She was seducing him. He didn't take advantage of her because of his power or anything like that. Didn't even come close to that kind of situation. Um, you know, but she, you know, it's like a group, but he, you know, he's married. He's a, he's a, the president of the United States and, and he's banging an intern, uh, you know, whether she pursued him or not doesn't matter. Well, who are we to get moral? Okay. Uh, I've cheated on wives in my lifetime. Uh, and I, I, I feel horrible about it, but the rest of my body doesn't. Uh, it was um, uh, he, she seduced him. Um, she pursued him. Uh, and, uh, you know, she had goo goo eyes for him. And quite frankly, you know, she's the kind of woman if, uh, that I would, have, I would have had sex with uh, if she came on to me because... <laughs> Now, because, maybe well, maybe, maybe, basically, she was a little on the chubby side and looked like she lacked self-esteem. And that's the kind <laughs> of woman who would want me. <laughs> you know? and it's also the kind of woman that 40 years later would say that uh, you touched her inappropriately. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, in the case of, of, of Clinton, I always felt bad for him because that was a case of somebody. Uh, you know, here he is. He's, what, in his late 40s, I think, at the time. And mm-hmm. uh, all of a sudden, this young chick comes on to him. And threw herself at him. Threw himself, like, yeah. herself at him. And, you know, he's got that age where it's a little hard to say no. You know? Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's why I stayed unmarried after, my, after, after uh, I, I, I divorced Susan for so many years. And so if I did play around in my later years, uh, I wouldn't be cheating on anybody. So... Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, I so that, that that's that. Oh, look who's calling! Hey, it's Mark Thorner, ladies and gentlemen, an old oldie but goodie. Hello, Mark. You know, Alex, it's funny you're talking about Lewinsky, right? Yeah. And the thing I always found interesting was the fact that she kept that dress. I was going to say that, Mark. Yeah. I thought it was her friend that kept. The no, dress. no, 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 no. She she kept the dress, and then she uh, did she give it to her friend. That, a souvenir. <laughs> yeah, but she, you know, she kept the dress. Well, that was her dress. Yeah, yeah, but, had the DNA, but, dress. but, but she didn't send dress. it out to be dry cleaned. That was right. the part where you know, because she knew there were cum stains on it, and she wanted that as a memory of having sex with the president. I thought he didn't have sex with that woman, Monica Lewinsky. Well, right, remember that? Yeah. yeah. He, no, he didn't. Now let me let but me she did. let me explain <laughs> yeah. this. But she did. If you you have to say what is having sex now, you're playing uh, into a, a but, Clinton's hand. No, I'm not playing into Clinton's hands. You ask ten women. Uh, did you have uh, Did you have sex with that guy? No. Did you give him a blowjob? Yes. Women do differentiate between having sex and giving a blowjob. Am I right, Chris? Uh, 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 oh, God, I'm so terrible. Oh, me? Charlene? Okay. Am I right, Charlene? <laughs> well, yeah, I think, you know, we've gone over this. And, like, young girls today think that they're still a virgin if they give a blowjob. Exactly. Like, well, you, know? you are. But that doesn't mean you didn't have sex. No, right, no, right. no, you're no. You're, you're, no, but you're, 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 you, 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 so when he said he didn't have sex with that woman, 
Uh, you have to define what having sex is. Is a blowjob sex? If you don't consider right. a blowjob well, sex, then he wasn't committing perjury. It's his okay. interpretation. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think, yeah. Mark? <laughs> you, you, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say this much. If you remember uh, the news from overseas, they were kind of laughing at us yeah. because it's like politicians having sexual relations. Oh, that's been going on here for thousands well, of years. Look at look at the French prime minister. Every one of them yes. has been having something going on. Yeah, it's like really, you know, it, you know, it's like I've always been. Don't we have more important things to look at than this? And by the way, you know, a lot of things that we do in America catch on. Like, for instance, Trump wants to move to Jerusalem with the, uh, um, with the, uh, 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 what do you call it, the uh, uh, State Department, um, the American Embassy, uh, and that's uh, that's that's that that has had its repercussions, and everybody's rioting and killing each other over there right now. So we, we have an influence on the rest of the world. This whole thing with the Me Too movement, has it moved outside of the United States? No. I don't think no, it has. It Rob, do you know if it has? Uh, I haven't heard anything other than what's going on in this country. Yeah. So I'm wondering how, how they look at the Me Too movement over there. I know when... It, the Clinton situation happened. They were going, Americans is so silly. They you probably know? think we're morons. And at some point in history, we're going to have to say, you know, there were two impeachments in the history of the United States. One was Johnson, <laughs> right? And the other one was Bill Clinton. Well, what did they do Johnson for? Well, they didn't like him, and he, he took over from Lincoln, and he, you know, whatever. And then, well, what was the problem with Clinton? He got a blowjob. <laughs> Boy, we're going to have to teach it that way in history because there's no other way to teach it. You know, the French pre uh, French prime minister or, or president, uh, not now, but the, uh, an earlier one. You're talking about Mitterrand? Uh, uh, well, no. It was, it, I guess he was a finance minister or something. He was going to be the, he was going to run for president. Yeah. Uh, and wait, he, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Do you know, Rob? No, I was oh. going to just I was going to make I was going to make a statement. That's oh, okay. All. I'll but, go to you next. I'll, he had a uh, a mistress, and there were, and it was very common. They 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 all did in Europe. Uh, you know, many of these leaders uh, all either have mistresses. I will or, say uh, one uh, name: Berlusconi. That that's it. No, no, that, no, no. That, 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 that's that, Italy. That a, that's Italy. But I'll say Berlusconi with his bunga bunga parties. Yeah. Now this one was French, and he got caught in New York. Uh, and uh, yes. Yes, who you was that? that now? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And he was with the lady who was cleaning up the room. The room he, right? Yes, and she she filed no charges hotel. against him. Yeah, he was the she was the cleaning woman. Oh, okay. Uh yeah. Yeah, but you know, these these kinds of liaisons go on all the time and uh you know, they just kind of accept it in Europe. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Rob, you had your hand up? What I was going to say was when you when you think back to um President Clinton and the blowjob and all that, right? And how they the Republicans spent all that money and tried to impeach him for that. Think about where we've come today, where you've got a, so this guy got a consensual blowjob in the Oval Office, right? Mm -hmm. Now you've got this. You got the Republican Party backing a guy who has you know messed with young girls, and we've got a president who is accused by X amount of women, 15, how many women? 15. Where we've, we think of where we've come today, where the Republican Party has come, where where they are today as opposed to where well, they were. Well, apparently they, they've come a lot. Right they were. <laughs> you know, they've come how a lot. Just they were. Yeah. Now it's all, anything is good. But why, I, why it, Trump is suddenly immune from all of this is beyond me. I mean, there are 15 right. women who have made claims about Donald Trump. Because he didn't admit. He didn't. He didn't. Uh, well, hold. he didn't like, admit. Yeah. Let's hold a hearing. Let's let's uh, let's well, check into this. And well, now, also, he has good lawyers. And Roy Moore's doing the same thing that Trump did. 
you know, he's well, not look, admitting. Look, uh, somebody said uh, one of the thing, things. They just did, just make up your own story, make up your own news, and and it becomes the truth. It's what Sean Hannity is doing today. They're calling <laughs> they're calling out this whole Mueller investigation as a conspiracy. When the them the Republicans themselves wanted wanted Mueller, thought he was a great guy and he'd be the man to lead this. The Fox News and the, and 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 Sean Hannity and these guys are starting this campaign. Now that you got Trump, here's the headline on CNN: Trump blasts U.S. politics as a sick system. This is all a smokescreen. He's destroying this country. And what it stands for, for him being in office, anything to save his ass. He'll take this country down to save his ass. All I know is today, Jeffrey Stein walked 10,000 steps and got the sneakers badge with Fitbit. <laughs> Congratulations, Jeff. Did you really, Jeff? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I was so tired. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, Charlene, you had your hand up. Charlene, you had your hand up. Oh no, uh, you know this is really off. Crazy. Um, this is crazy. But you know, Phil mentioned French presidents or something, and all of a sudden in my head, all I remember is Pompidou. Is that a French president? Yes, George Pompidou. Yeah. yeah. But not the one you were talking about. No, though, right? no, no. The one I was talking about was like a finance minister. He was going to be run for president. They said he had a really good chance of winning. Wasn't and, that recently? It all happened in New York. Uh, there, two, in three years ago. Isn't that the guy that has the haircut named after him? Yeah, uh, what's his name? Uh, I, should <laughs> I should remember that name because it happened recently. Uh, it wasn't it must have been Joe four Albert, years ago. I yeah, yeah, used to play Con or something. Con. Yeah, it's a Julius Con or somebody like that. Oh, okay. well, hold on a second. French. Fr uh, How do I do this? French foreign minister or finance minister? The uh, thing from Star Trek, like minister, uh, the Wrath of Khan, right? Used to play. And then I'll put in maid. Let's see what comes up. Uh, Dominic yeah. Strauss Khan was okay, the guy, that's what it was. Okay. and he was. Um, uh, and a 32-year-old uh, maid uh, said he had sex with yeah, her. Yeah, it was a Spanish maid, and she claimed that uh, he made her do all kinds of crazy things or something. And yeah, he, he you know, oh, he was the managing director of the International Monetary Fund. That's it, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it was he embarrassing. Was 32 he was years old. Is that the maid? No, was. She, the maid was 32 years old. Oh. He was. He was oh, probably 60 well, he was born in 1949, which would make him uh, 68, or mm -hmm. or at that time probably something like 65, 63. And uh, in France, they were kind of like they couldn't believe that this country would make a big stink out of something like that, right? Uh, yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. Well, they were going to charge him with rape. That's and, it, right? And they checked into it, and I think they saw they didn't feel her claims were. Right, that she didn't really get raped or something. Yeah, which, you know, I mean, again, it's a case of a woman not being believed. Uh, but, you know, uh, uh, I don't think, uh, uh, who knows? You know, a lot a lot was done there internationally to try and get him off. All right. Now, that was the whole thing with Franken. Like, I almost cried listening to that speech. Yeah, it's a terrible because speech. It was, I loved it. It was so well. I thought he was a whiner. And he presented it so well. Uh -oh. Trump I, and I everybody love the way else. He, um, I love the way he brought in that, uh, think, you know, these other two horrible Republicans are in office and stuff, and one's going to be elected, and he's going out. But do you think it was because he, um, you know, he felt too much that women should be heard and all that kind of stuff, why he caved in like that? No, I don't you know, think like, I don't think that was the I reason. that was bullshit, no. the women part. I, I I don't think no I don't think it was bullshit I think he was sincere in what he said regarding women. I know he and, sounded and very the sincere in the situation. I think what he felt was that he could not effectively be a senator for his state. I thought he was crying. Uh, while when all of this was going on and that he just didn't want to drag down the state of Minnesota and the people who need their needs met. You know? And Alex, you know him, right, or knew him, or something. I, I used because, to play. I used to play pinball with him. Because I <laughs> remember him on SNL, and you know he used to say, "And me, Al Franken." And me, it was always Al me, Franken. Al Franken, I, right? I, I'm Al Franken. Yeah, no, he. Uh, as I as I t have said the last couple of nights, I used to play uh, uh, 
pinball with pinball. him at this mm-hmm. one place. Uh, he was a great pinball player. Maybe he should go into that as a living next. As a I used to go with me to the two AM club in Mill Valley to play pinball. Yeah. Yeah. I used to I was a I I was really hot behind pinball for a while. I love pinball. Uh I, what happened was when I was doing Midnight Blue and at Screw Magazine, Goldstein, who would buy anything that wasn't nailed down, bought a pinball machine. And it was a big full size, regular size pinball machine they made for home use. And yeah. that's where I started playing pinball, and I got addicted to this thing because there's really something about pinball that's really quite elegant, and it it's you against gravity, you know. And mm-hmm. um, I got into really playing. Then, then, oddly enough, there was a place called Plato's Retreat <laughs> here in New mm-hmm. York, which I used <laughs> to be able to get into for free because I'm midnight blue and because I knew the owner. And I didn't go down there to fuck. I went down there because they had a whole lineup of pinball machines. And they were really good ones. There was one called 8-Ball and so on, and just really great. And once you got to play a machine any number of times, you got to kind of become one with the pinball machine. That's right. Yeah, was the one there called Blue Balls? You know, and and you, <laughs> what what would happen, which bothered you, which could bother you, is after a while with everybody playing it, things could get off a little bit, like the bumpers didn't work as well as they should mm-hmm. or whatever. And so unless they fix those, you had to accommodate for that. You know you know what I'm talking about, right, Rob? You probably you oh. looks, look like you went through a pinball phase in your life. Yes, indeed. In fact, when I was in Texas uh, two weeks ago, they took us, one of the things they took us to is this place called Pin... Pin stack, I think it's called, and it's this big adult playland where there's a bowling alley there, but there's also a huge game room with all kind. There's a rock climbing wall and everything, and they gave us these cards that were, you know, play for a couple of hours. You just yeah. swipe the card, and I sat in front of a pinball machine, and I was like, I forgot how much fun this is. There are so many great pinball machines there. I spent like were two they, hours. Were they pretty much uh, traditional pinball machines? Because a lot of them are very digital today, and, yeah. and are not don't don't have the same kind of fun to them. Well, I, I don't know. I found they were the digital type. Um, I found them to be just as I find them to be just as much fun. It's different. They're multi-ball, and you're trying to keep three balls going at the oh, same yeah. time. Yeah, I played those. Yeah, yeah. That was just a blast. I go, oh, I got to do it again, and you get better, and you get better. Like you said, you become one. You you know where to hit it, and to get the the most points, and oh, love it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was one called Fireball that I that I played for a while, and a Fireball was interesting in that uh, it um, uh, had a rotating center. And it was spinning constantly, and you would, if it went into that area, you never knew where it was going to fly off, yeah. you know. But I, so, uh, good, I'm glad you, yeah, I have another pinball. For anybody else here a big pinball guy? Ah, yes, I had a feeling, Mark, did you, <laughs> are you still into it, or was that a period of your life where you? I, it's like, well, uh, one of the few games I have on my phone is actually a pinball simulator that's actually very good. Yeah. Um. Uh, I used to go to Fascination. Oh, well, that's here in New them. York. That was on Broadway. Yeah. yeah. And um, down Coney Island, there was a place that was next to the carousel that sold old. I mean, we're talking non oh, non digital, yeah. all solenoids. I mean, you play these things, and man, the lights dimmed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Now that you, that's engineering, you, you know. After, uh, after you got really good, what became the, I guess the the goal was to see how long you could keep playing on one quarter, right? Mm-hmm. Three balls all the time, and yeah. For me, it was how long you can keep one ball in play. Yeah, well, just one. But that's part of getting the most out of your quarter, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. And uh, um, I, I think I went once like 20 25 minutes on one quarter but that was my best oh. but you know the trouble with franken was he was so good that we just sat there and waited for him to be through <laughs> yeah so uh, hey, was his buddy tom also into pinball? yeah his partner on snl is that who you mean uh tom oh, uh, davis yeah you know he died of a heroin overdose i think Oh, he's dead. Oh, no, really? I think so. Let me look up. To, I know he's dead. I thought it was cancer. 
I think it was something else. I think it was drugs, but I'm not sure. Let me just. Uh, yeah, they were a team up. back in the old SNL days. Tom like, Davis. One was uh, the straight man. Yeah, right? he was an American writer, comedian, uh, best known for his comedy partnership with Al Franken. Uh, he died in 2012. Let me see what he died of. Life and career, illness and death. Oh, wait, he was diagnosed with cancer. All right. Yeah. And he was treated at Mount Sinai Hospital, where on Martin, he had a, removed a tumor. But well, he died of throat and neck cancer at the age of 59. Wow. Okay. Well, I take back that he had drug, died of a drug overdose. That must have been somebody it's else. Time. Huh? It's time for a drink. Well, at least I admit when I'm wrong, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> yeah. Hey, is anybody getting, are you guys going to get snow up in the New York area? I think. Getting, yeah, I want to know, are we? Yeah, we're supposed oh, yeah. to. We're getting in Texas. Brownsville, oh. Texas. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're Houston. Getting, I couldn't believe Houston. it. Yeah. yeah, a friend of mine who lives in Houston was saying, Mike, I got to show you something. I got to show you something. Just what? All of a sudden, the snow was just coming down hard. And there's this dog trying to bite the snowflakes. Yeah. You know what I did? I bought a 50-foot USB cord so that I could run a camera out of here somewhere else, like uh, maybe into the bedroom, and I can stick it out the window. I think uh, what I'm going to do is if it's snowing like later on this year and when we're doing the show... I'm going to, like, run the line out there so I can have the snow cam. What room in your apartment is the one you photograph out the window from? There are several of them. I usually, uh, the bedroom is a good one, and uh, in the living room as well. Any of those windows are good, but the, the best window windows are the ones in the bedroom and the ones in the dining room. And Well, actually, the dining room, not as much because of some, some blinds. But um, uh, the the living room, you know, all the, all basically the same view. Yeah. Hey, uh, in Florida, uh, what's the temperature there? Now? Yeah. Or today? It was in the eighties. Oh. <laughs> Can I say this, and I mean this in all respect, Mark? Fuck you. <laughs> hey, I hear it all the time, Alex. Believe me. You know, yeah, I invite you, you people know, so down and they say, fuck you. It's like, hey, I'm trying to be nice. Come down here. I hear about all these Jews who moved to Florida and I wonder why. And I'm starting to get the answer because I don't feel well in this weather. You know, yeah. my eyes are tearing all the time. You know, the aches Drunk. and pains you so have, fun. the little arthritis stuff and all that. You go into a warmer climb and you're fine. So if you go to, you know, you go to... Uh, Florida for the winter. Uh, well, then you're in Florida. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And you know how I feel about Florida. I mean, I root for hurricanes. Uh, you know. Uh, so, uh, but anyway, what is somebody right here? Oh, uh, not Monica's fault. That's bull. I didn't. Uh, uh, so uh, this is uh, Jack Silva says that it's not Monica's fault. That's bull. Well, I mean, uh, she has admitted as much that she, you know, seduced him. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I don't know what you call that, Jeff. The President of the United States can't resist some 20-year-old intern seduction. No, Come you're on. not talking about a president. Yeah, no, he could just go out and grab any woman by the pussy that he wants. Yeah. 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 That's a president. A different dude. That's okay. I was in the entertainment business. He wasn't you, in the politics have, business. You have, no, you have no game here. You can't talk. But, to, begin with, to begin with, Phil, being president has nothing to do with the fact that if some woman says, I want to fuck you, you don't suddenly consider the proposition. I think I think you do. Well, I couldn't. Donald I Trump, couldn't. But nobody I, wants him. Hey, listen. When I was, you know, I mean, I was not a good husband. I used to cheat like crazy, and the reason I cheated is I was so insecure as a kid, and so lacking of self-esteem, that if a woman wanted to have sex with me, that was the most wonderful thing in the world. I couldn't turn it down. I mean, I have turned it down sometimes because I thought I could get killed, but you know, outside of that. <laughs> You know, yeah. Want me to tell you a great story about? That's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> this happened in San Francisco. This was while I was at uh, Live One Hundred and Five, and I had a uh, uh, Clinton has the power and abused it. No, he didn't abuse it. He gave in to temptation. 
Silva. But anyway, let me let me. Um, I, oh. uh, uh, I try to try to make the story as quick as possible. Uh, I'm, I'm sitting. My phone number was in the phone book, so you could call me. I, I would take calls from people, you know. And if I if anybody got abusive, I had to, a second phone number only my close friends had, and that was the one they called. Okay, I pick it up one night. And this woman says, uh, I would really like to, uh, to meet you. I really have found you very attractive, and I would like to have sex with you, blah, blah. And I said, yeah, uh, say more. And we started talking, and finally she said, well, listen, why don't you meet me at such and such a place? And, and uh, you know, uh, we'll see if we want to m- pair up. So I, I say, well, what are you wearing? And she told me what she was wearing. So I drove down to this part of town, which was like down near the radio station, and it was kind of a seedy part of town. It wasn't, you know. So I'm figuring, you know, I could probably get killed. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. Why am I going to go see this woman? Because she was talking very provocatively to me. So I drive down there, and sure enough, there she is standing on the street corner. But I... Didn't stop because I didn't know why I what was happening, but she was there with a guy. So I immediately went back home and just said, fuck that, all right? Phone rings. She says, did you come by at all? And I said, yeah, but I, I, I was there on the, uh, I was there, you know, and you, you were there with a, with a guy. And she says, oh, well, that's my husband. <laughs> I <laughs> I said, what? She said, that's my husband. She says, he'd like to watch me fuck you. She wanted to cuckold. Nice. So I'm thinking about this, and I'm going, okay. (laughs) Come on over. (laughs) So I gave him my address. And about a half hour later, the doorbell rings. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't have a gun in the house. I don't have any protection. I'm a dead man. They both come up, and that's exactly what they wanted. That's all they wanted. He sat over in the corner while I had sex with her. And um, I'd like to say that that was the first time we did that, but we did it several other times because it worked out so well. And occasionally while she was having sex with me, he would come over and stroke her on the back. Never touched me. You know, and it was really it was, in a strange way. It turned out to be a wonderful sexual encounter. <laughs> what was that? Uh, I think it was uh, Charlene's uh, computer cut out. Yeah, oh there. But anyway, so that you know, I don't know if anybody found that an interesting story. But that that was that was flirting with danger. It's definitely different. Y- yes, yes. Um, but uh, so I, uh, you know. And by the way, I she had I had her permission. Uh, so everybody, don't think that I forced myself. She signed the the permission slip. Yeah, they were very nice people, and she was very attractive. And uh, you know, it was it was a it was a it was a it was a very um, copacetic relationship that we were having there. And you didn't find it a difficult to perform under such circumstances? But oddly enough, no. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I found it invigorating. Really? Yeah, uh, I don't know because it it it's it's a different kind of situation, uh, and uh, you know I didn't want to have sex with this guy, and this guy didn't want to have sex with me. It was simply he wanted me to have sex with her and for her to enjoy herself and for him to be able to sit over in the corner and watch it and just it, watch. Yeah. So I, in a way, I kind of felt like the showbiz part of me came out, and I was starting to put on a show. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, so is there a name for that or something? Like, it's called you know, cuckolding. Cuck oh, okay, you said that right. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, and I imagine they probably went home after we were through, and, and then they have sex and had sex. Yeah, I later found out they stopped calling me, and I found out the reason why is they they separated. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> I, apparently it didn't help the marriage that much. You know, did that's she like ever call you after well, they separated. I'm. Th- I think she did actually, uh, and I think we did get together once. If, I'm. I'm trying to remember this now. I only remember the initial thing, but I think we did get together, and it wasn't as good without him around. <laughs> you know, there was like just King there, Alex, were, there was right? just, huh. 
like kink. Yeah. They would well, that's it. kinky. Yep. Yeah, it's kinky. kinky. It's kinky. Yeah. But yeah. you know, I mean, I I, uh, I I did worry that I was going to get killed. There's no question about it. That they were so crazy. That, that no, they weren't crazy. Right? They were not crazy. They were totally sane. They knew what they wanted to accomplish, and I helped them accomplish it. And I, I felt very good about it, actually. And, uh, you know, uh, there was a public service, a, a, a pubic service, yeah. <laughs> uh, as it were. But, you know, getting back to, uh, let's see here. Jeff, you should really call the show, Jeff. Um, it says. Um, what are you seeing this stuff? Charlene may be cuckolding. What? Oh, uh, oh, oh the stuff? noise with Charlene may be cuckolding. No, it's just noise, uh, Jeff. What noise? Where, where do you see these things? Uh, I'm getting them for, through via Facebook. Uh, I'm looking at the Facebook. I don't see those. Things. I know, but it's just like messages to, to this, this program or whatever. I'm looking at the messages. I, huh? I'm looking at the messages. It stops no. with Charlene's message. N no, but it's oh, a, it, Facebook, it's a so. private message to uh, oh, Gab oh. to Gabnet Live, I think, oh. is what I think. I'm not sure. Well, uh, if you want to change the subject, uh, Rob's company bought Samsung printers, and uh, I ordered a uh, iPhone 10 yesterday. My company did not. Well, I just went on. Uh, I just I just watched a thing about the iPhone 10. Boy, yeah. did you make a mistake! Really? Yes. Why is that? I I saw some things on online, people doing videos and stuff, saying that it has all kinds of problems, and that yeah. it it's just not it's it's unwieldy to operate. Yeah. Uh, they did not. Uh, one guy said uh, his his whole video was about how he took it back to Apple and got his money back. Really? Yeah. Well, all right. Well, I don't know see. why you got the ten. Yeah, you know, it was good looking. It was good looking, but you know you're paying a thousand dollars for the fucking thing. And he uh, could afford well, it. That's and, uh, and, uh, and, mo and more if, if you want more memory. What? Paying forty one dollars a month or forty eight dollars a month. What is that deal about? You know, I usually just think? go out I'm and sure. buy them. Uh, I but. Um, uh, that uh, and I own the phone at the end of the deal. Yeah, yeah, thir oh, thirty months, right. thirty months. Yeah, thirty months. Is that Verizon? Uh, but if you yeah. if you lose, you better insure the phone too. Why do you want to own because it? Because if you that? lose because it, you owe the money for the rest are, of it. Well, what I do is uh, when I get a new phone, the old one goes to Faye, <laughs> so she's going to get my six S. And uh, this new one is uh, 256 uh, gigs or megs or whatever it is. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, uh, but you also also have to pay the phone bill, too, on top of that. Yeah. Yeah. So how much does it come to a month? Um, I, uh, with, well, without the iPhone, it was the two phones were like 180 bucks. Oh, no, and I have two phones and an iPad. Mm -hmm. so uh, So maybe it's going to be like, Two thirty-five or something. I don't know, but anyway. So I, you know, I'll tell you also what they're saying is that the Samsung is a better phone. The yeah. Samsung has, you know, the Samsung has had facial recognition for years now. I remember when Albert got a Samsung and he said, "Look what I can do," and he just looked at the phone and it turned on. Well, and then that, the and, and, and so why are they saying, "Oh, we have facial recognition"? Yeah, like you're the last one to come to the party. Yeah, well, I I just uh, got new computers at the store, uh, and they have uh, the Windows 10, which I've never seen before. And my printers, they had to load the drivers, and I have two printers that are Samsung printers. We had to go as of November 1st. We had to go to the HP website. To load the Samsung drivers. So uh, yeah, they HP bought Samsung. I don't work for HP. Well, uh, oh, I thought uh, you work for some version of HP. No, I don't work for HP. HP was split off. Oh, so you work for the Russians? What? The I Russians. The Russians, right? <laughs> what, what do you mean it was it was it split off? What the two companies? HP is now two separate. Traded publicly traded companies, and, and are they back both in 2015? And are they both called HP? One is called Hewlett Packard Incorporated, which is the one that owns the uh, 
printers and the laptops and all that stuff. And then there's Hewlett Packard Enterprise, which does the data center stuff. And that's you. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Sounds pretty close to HP. Different company, though. <laughs> it, yeah, but different different company. It, the, yeah. You know, they, they don't have anything to do with each other at all. Uh, the only thing they have to do with each other is uh, our CEO is on their board. Oh, Doesn't okay. the ghost the ghost of Carly Fiorina run through the, through the hallways of that place? <laughs> well, uh, they hope not because they she so ruined that company. Yeah, that, she did. Uh, you know which which one was that? But she was with the computer part, right? Original. Yeah. Well, she was with the whole company oh, before it, it split. Uh, before it split, I see. Okay. Um, what is this that, that Jeff Silva is now writing? Uh, if someone wants to control printing costs, go to HP Instant Ink. What is that? Oh, that's uh, they try to sell you the ink. They just send you pay a certain amount per month, depending on your usage, and uh, then they uh, they send you cartridges. I just found cheap ink over at Amazon, and it works just fine, to tell you the damn truth. Uh, yeah. Big cost savings, never, uh, ha never having to buy cartridges again. HP sends you when you're about uh, done. Uh, but, but but don't they charge you for that? They got to charge you what a monthly oh, yeah. charge yeah, or they, something they charge like that. Monthly. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I don't. I, I, it takes me a while to get through the ink. You know. So. You know the funny thing is sometimes I buy new ink cartridges and then this is getting dull. No, but all of a sudden they run out fast. This is getting really dull. This is this is dull because, programming. Let's talk yeah. about ink cartridges. <laughs> How I'm going to buy some new staples. Oh, where are you going to get them, and what kind are you going to get? I just got a new stapler. Really? What kind? Wow! What Wait, kind? I bought a desk model stapler. You actually, it sits flat on the desk. You put up to thirty pages in there, and there's a handle on top, and you press it, and it does a great job. Industrial stapler. Oh, is that that big black Schwinn line? Uh, remember Swing Line in Queens? Sure. Sure. Do you ever, uh, do you ever remember what was the movie? Uh, uh, Office Space was the name of the movie. Yes. Was that yes. the name of the movie? Excellent. And the yes. and the guy with his big red stapler. Milton. Well, yes. at that point, big red staplers started selling like crazy. <laughs> and you could even go on Amazon, and they would say the Office Space big red <laughs> stapler. Uh, that was a great movie, by the way. Funny movie. Love that movie. Uh, that wasn't a Jason Corn booth. Uh, no, no, no. Mm. Uh, well, that was done by the guy who did uh, um, uh, Beavis and Butthead, Mike Judge. That was Mike Judge? Yes. yes. Milton with the staple that was based on one of his animation, early animations. Milton, yeah, that used to be on SNL. Mm, I, the was Milton, on MTV. The, he used to show was those it, shorts. No, uh, Milton, I think he did these shorts for, MT, mm. for SNL. Uh, the short cartoons with Milton, who's sitting at a desk and he's talking about things and about the world around him. And yeah, and the manager always wanted to take things from his desk. Yeah, exactly. State, yeah. <laughs> and out of that came the whole movie, Office Space. And was it TPS reports or the whatever yeah, it was? Yeah, something like that. Very funny movie. By the way, yeah. um, we I just watched... We just got through watching eight episodes on Amazon Prime of a show that really is terrific. And this woman who's the star of it, whose name I can't remember right now, really does a star turn in this thing. And it's called The, uh, the Ma Magnificent Miss, Mrs. Maple, M Mrs. Maisel. Uh, the Magnificent Mrs. Maisel. And it's all about this woman whose husband leaves her and she decides to go into comedy. But that's oh. not the it's not the whole thing. It, it's just part of it, you know. It's her I've whole seen family. The trailers for it that. is it the most good. Jewish show I've ever seen on television. <laughs> I mean, it's just nothing but but littered with Jews, <laughs> and it's it's hilarious. It's well written. It it was done by the same woman who did the Gilmore Girls, but mm -hmm. from what I'm told, this is much better than the Gilmore Girls. If the Gilmore Girls was a little more pop, this is like, you know, and it's on Amazon Prime, and it's really good, really good. 
What we I've seen commercials for that. We did. Uh, we watched all eight of them, and it was like I after it was over, I said to to girlfriend, I said, "This is not like binging a show at all. It just was so easy to digest and watch." Um, so cool? I I suggest that that What's and it? of course the uh, the Shape of Water as a movie for you mm-hmm. to go see. Which what is, was the uh, uh, Amazon Prime? One? The Magnificent Miss M- Mrs. Maisel, I think it's called. Um, and it's it's uh, it, it uh, very satisfying. And there'll be another season of it. it and I could I could get an, I could take another ten episodes of this thing. I, sure. I it's one of those things that when it's through, you know, and you you're through with the eight they made, you just wish there was more because you're enjoying it so much, you know. So, uh, talking about comedy, you know, have you ever met or do you know Bob Saget? Yes, I know Bob Saget. I've known him. Yeah, I'm shooting him tomorrow night. Why do you hate him? <laughs> with a with a camera. Oh, oh, I see. Because <laughs> you have a gun, you have to specify these things, Phil. <laughs> yeah, no, with a camera. Uh, uh, yeah, no, he's a say hello for me. If he'll remember oh, okay. me. Well, um, he um, one of the sickest minds in comedy. Yeah, uh, you know, don't ex- don't dirty. expect don't expect Full House when you go see the oh. act. Okay, no, I understand he's uh, he's quite uh, you know yeah yeah blue yeah I I always liked his work. So where do we go now with uh, with uh, like this whole thing in Jerusalem? It already was exploding today. Uh, they one Palestinian got shot and killed. No two. Oh, it was two. Yep. Uh, and. Uh, I guess they're Hamas and uh, is calling for an uprising, and yeah, this is just standard stuff. Anytime, anything, any you know. Look, if they have an, a picture uh, depicting uh, the Ayatollah, they go and they want to kill people. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, a magazine with a, a comic uh, depicting Mohammed—that's reason enough to kill people. Oh, look who's calling us here! We've been joined, ladies and gentlemen, by Matt. Hello, Matt. How are you? Hey, good. I can't. Uh, I think I'm on the. I think I'm on the old Skype. I don't know what's happening. What here. you know? You're 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 at fine. Least, you look like coming fi- up. You, you look yeah. fine to us. Yeah. 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 You guys aren't coming up. To, it's just you, Alex. That's coming up for me. Oh, really? Yeah. You're in like a little tiny window. Oh. Huh. What well, are you guys uh, talking about? I. Uh, well, we, I haven't been listening to the show, but I just uh, I had some time, so I figured I'd call in. Why haven't you been listening to the show? Are you getting late or I, something? I wish. It's been, a, <laughs> it's been about a month, so. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, what, uh, what, uh, what, what, why haven't you hey, been listening? Did you get tired of us? Guess, guess what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a millionaire pretty soon. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, in, I invested in. Litecoin, not Bitcoin. Litecoin. Litecoin. I am up like fifty percent right now from yesterday, just putting money in. Yeah. How, how many did you buy? Eight. Only no, I bought five Litecoin. I put five hundred bucks. Okay. In. Well, if it turns out shit, uh, <laughs> I, I have a, a guest room here for you. You can stay. Uh, hey, hey, I could probably use it. I thought you were the Ayatollah of rock and roller. How's your band? Uh, I quit. Oh, we, well, like, it's not too good. We had creative differences. Mm. Uh, how do I get you guys on like a full screen sort of thing? This is this is ridiculous. Um, well, uh, oh, what what I do you got you guys now? Okay, everybody's on. Okay, it's a matter of clicking something. I think. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm with you. Yeah. So why haven't uh, you been listening to us? Are we boring or something? No, or? I listen to you every day at work. Oh, I see. Okay, so you just I haven't been you, in a position next to call. Day, yeah. Uh, here's yeah. Um, oh well, boy! All of a sudden, everybody's calling towards the end of the show. Here I'm comes Ke- here comes Kevin. Invest in Litecoin. Well, you know, uh, uh, let me let me. Uh, uh, Mark, do you understand Bitcoin? Maybe a tiny bit of what it does, but it's my regret is back in two thousand and nine, I put some money into it. Yeah. Did you yeah. sell already? No, I mean I would have just taking that number and just put it in an envelope and put it in a safe deposit box. Yeah. No, but wait a minute, you, I, bu- you bought some. Do you still have it? No, I, I wish I did. Oh. 
uh, you know, Miranda used to talk about Bitcoin, and I, I thought it was a crazy thing that I, I would not get involved with. But you know, I you know, whatever well, I some buy, of the best some of the best minds in money, such as uh, uh, the Sage of Omaha, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Buffett, Warren Buffett. Buffett says it's insane to invest in it. Uh, Jamie, Jamie Diamond. Uh, well, Warren Buffett's whole thing is to put your money into something you trust and just keep it there for decades. Yeah. He's, probably, he's probably that, that's right. That's how he make all, made all his money. He's not a short-term guy. He's a long-term guy. So, Yeah. Well, but and that's Bitcoin. My, my brother has uh, three but Bitcoin right now. He sold his original investment, so he got all of his money back, plus he has three Bitcoin, so he's got like like fifty thousand dollars now. I thought a Bitcoin was worth up to eight hundred dollars. Is it worth it's, it's up it's up to sixteen thousand right now. Something's not one, right. One Bitcoin? Yeah, no. It's yeah, one Bitcoin is sixteen it's way overpriced. When Miranda uh, was talking about it, they were they were four hundred dollars or something, and I thought it was crazy. Yeah, it's it's oh, wait a minute. Right wait a minute, hold on a second. It, I cannot wrap my brain around Bitcoin. Okay? So how do you acquire Bitcoin? They got a mine for it. Wait a minute. I, I don't I don't really understand it. Either. I don't want to do anything I have to do with a pick and shovel. Okay? No, <laughs> thing, I, thought. I thought it was you it was, you can it's it's the currency of the future is what they're saying right now. So you can pay for for anything for uh, with uh with bitcoin yeah but well, first but, of hey, all first of well, all you've hey, got to, you've got to get i, I don't i don't 100 percent believe in it uh i know that litecoin which i put money in which is a lot cheaper uh can it the transactions are insanely okay faster. so how did you buy a litecoin uh, i went to uh hold on let me see the app i got uh i got an app for it it's um but coinbase what, what, but, the coinbase what, app yeah, but you you pay yeah, for it with do what? You, do you buy it with money? I buy it with my money. Yeah, it's linked to my uh, bank account. Okay, now the, now let's get back to Bitcoin a second. Uh, Mark, do you know this? Do you buy Bitcoin? Do you pay money you for Bitcoin? It oh, yeah, Kevin, Kevin, it. huh? You can buy it, or you can produce it. You can produce it. Yep, that's Wait. what they call mining. Yep. See. Yeah, okay. Mining. Okay. Wait a minute. How do you do you know you about can, the, you Kevin? Can mine Kevin actual Bitcoin. Kevin's been nodding what his head this? like he knows about this. Do you know about this, Kevin? Yeah, my kid bought some. Okay. And he bought he bought like uh, I don't know. It was even just a small portion of it. What and did he, he buy it at? Do you know? It's quadrupled. I don't know. He sent yeah. me a link. I didn't trust it. But it's it's the classic greater fools theory. It's you but, buy it at a cheap price and you wait for it. all these people are just buying okay, it because but, but they let's think say, it's going let, up. Let, let's it's going to well, crash. You, okay, I, let, I guarantee you, it's going to crash. What is it? What is it yeah, if you look at no, the, but here's what here's what I don't get. Stock, all the, uh, the 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 money channels talk about it a lot, and they they talk about one guy says it's going to be the. Uh, currency of the future and another one will say that it's going to blow up and everybody's going to take a crap I yeah. think so you doing. know it's it's a 50 50 chance on. you know in 2000 you had all these companies that didn't make any money but their stock was <laughs> going up they were trading right. 800 it's, times yeah. value. The, the dot com yeah, yeah. It's the so should, what was what was it Pet, pets.com or something <laughs> there were a bunch of them there was yeah. tons of them out here in the valley oh, oh yeah, we uh, had, all, uh, you saw um, houses I'm Houses from, with Ferraris were left alone as they I'm, walked away from them. I'm from Baltimore, and we had uh, PSI Net, who is now out of business. That was our uh, football stadium. Was PSI Net? They're out of. They're out of business. They were a dot com bubble. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. My, here's my here's my question. But it's what they use on the dark web to exchange money, yeah. and yeah. that's what made me nervous. Is that when you get all these malware things going on and their ransoms? The ransomware, that's how they pay for it because it's untraceable. Okay, right? but let, let's like say somebody comes to me with ransomware, all right, and I, I want to pay him off now. And I have he wants to get paid off in Bitcoin. How do I acquire Bitcoin? You put you money in the, wherever they do it and turn it into Bitcoin. But oh. how do you know that that's a legit place? You go to, to Coinbase.com, yeah. 
I mean, I, I think, I mean, Bitcoin's going to crash. The whole, the whole, the reason why I got on Litecoin is just because of the hype. I'm like, I got $500 to blow. I'm just going to put it in there. I'm going to write it, it out. You got to, you got to have money to blow. I, and I don't, I don't, I don't really have faith in it, but I'm like, if I can quadruple my money, that's all yeah, I care. Walk it's, away. The, it's the classic greater fool. Okay. Series. But now when it's, wait, wait a minute, well, let me, let, I paid for let it. me ask you now, it's time for you to walk away. All right. You've decided to walk away. How do yeah. you get your money back then? You just you sell it right on Coinbase. Somebody else will buy it from. You and then how do you money. get how do you, how do you get how do you get the cash? It's the you same get as something to your market. account. Yeah, it's the same. Into as the what stock. account? Think of it as a stock market. You have to tie your bank account to it, which made that's what made me nervous. Oh, okay, that would make yeah. me nervous too. What do, what do I care? I don't have much money. Yeah, well, yeah. It must be a pyramid scheme. Oh, yeah, it's, that's what it, it, it is like. a peer. It's a, it's it's all a scam. It's all it's a complete a scam. Yeah. But I'm like, hey, I'm gonna put money in it. I'm that's gonna make money off of is. idiots. I invest in gold. Gold be a better deal. I don't think so. Fuck gold. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck gold. <laughs> I remember. Why? Fuck coins. Do you remember? Because do you remember there was a time? Take what, too there was long. a time I, when I'm, I'm when, up forty percent in one day. I'm up forty percent in one day. I so mean, when are you gonna sell? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm well, hoping it, my shit's it, up like 300% or if something. If it gets up to the same as Bitcoin, I'll have $85,000. Yeah, he put and how much and how said, much did he keep out of it though? I, 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 I put in needs. I put in 500 bucks. And how quickly right, how much, how much the, 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 the Bitcoin the Bitcoin took like a year I think to uh get up to 16,000 from like some in the hundreds. And how I'll find out right now what he's got. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how quickly it drops. Yeah. But I, I would I would sell my if if it got up that much, I would probably sell double my investment and then I would keep the rest. Uh, do you have there. a stop loss? Do they have stop losses on that type of uh purchase? No. no. You, on on Coinbase you can do um you can do notifications for when it hits a certain amount. I just got a notification that uh Litcoin or Litecoin hit 150. I bought it for 98. So now it's at 150. Wow. I bought it for 98 yesterday. Yeah. By the way, I read something very depressing the other day. Uh, I, I was with Sirius XM when it was about ready to go under. Uh, and it, they mention in this article that it was five. It was five cents a share. Okay. Yeah. And somehow, <laughs> what? What is that? So five cents a share. And some uh, and and I was thinking at that time of buying it, uh, uh, and, you, and, Kevin. and of putting ten thousand dollars in there. Uh, it, it, I read a thing yesterday that said if you had invested ten thousand dollars when it was five cents a share, you'd now be worth a million dollars. Yeah. And I keep kicking myself in the ass because I you really never, you never know though because my dad uh, my dad has a financial advisor. And he told him, uh, his financial advisor told him, put like $10,000 in, I don't remember, it was like Nabisco or something like that. Yeah. It was like, it's a solid company, you know, yeah. put your money in this, it's got to go up, blah, 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 blah. It ended up going out of business. You just, you just never know. I mean, it's, it's all a yeah, risk. No, no, I knew I was taking a chance, but I you're, figured, you're I, I, figured I had, I had, ten, I, I had $10,000 yeah. I could take a chance with. Yeah. And I and I should have done it because it was five cents a share, and well, now now it's serious. Is doing now they're they're freaking giving away. I got six months for thirty bucks. Oh yeah, they they're giving it away. They, I mean, they're they're they they're acting like uh, like newspaper companies now, where they'll they just want the subscribers to get the advertisements to get the advertisers on board. Well, you so. know what you do is you just if they call you up and it's time for you to renew and you just tell them you don't want to. Exactly, and they <laughs> will they give it to you for free. It, 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 uh, it, it, it just who's, about. Who's holding it? Is this Phil? <laughs> yes, serious for thirty bucks. <laughs> thirty bucks for what? Six months? Six months. Yeah, yeah that's what I got. Hey, okay, so my my kid bought three hundred. Uh, let's see, he bought a hundred bucks worth in August at forty two hundred, and it's worth three hundred right now. So you know. That's Bitcoin. Wait a minute. It was it was he bought it for what? He bought it. He put a hundred bucks in, mm -hmm. and it at, was going at forty two hundred, I guess, per yeah, coin. Now it's, now it's sixteen sixteen thousand for coin. 
Yeah, he says he's got. He's at about because he bought a portion of a coin or some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do that. Yeah, I, I was thinking about investing, but I went into Litecoin because I knew Bitcoin was too high. And yeah. once people start put, they'll start taking money out of Bitcoin to put in Litecoin. That's going to be the next thing because Litecoin is so much is so much faster in terms of transactions and everything. Yeah, um, well, I saw some Mid Eastern guy with a with a, a robe and everything on one of the MSNBC uh, money shows. And he was saying, "Oh, it's all going to blow up. It's all going to blow up. Just oh, wait." Yeah. And, it's, it's, then you got the other guys going, "Yeah, no, it's not. It's going to be the money of the future and the whole bit." So who the knows? guy wrote six six months ago, um, mm-hmm. back in July, I guess that's five months ago. He, when it was at twenty five hundred bucks for one coin, he said it's going to go up to sixty thousand for one Bitcoin. Then it's going to crash all the way down to one thousand. And right now, it's at you know, it's it's peaked. I think went to nine, nineteen thousand. Is is the peak so far? So, it's just and, everybody fucking everybody, just anybody, like the stock market. No, it's 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 the greater well, fool well, theory. It's somebody's gonna buy it for more tomorrow yeah. because uh, everybody's gonna want to jump in. It's, I'm, it's I'm, my, I'm on my on my iPhone, it doesn't mean anything. It's uh, just people are stupid enough to keep buying. On my yeah. iPhone, I have um, um, uh, you know, the stocks like Sirius and so on, so I can see what I my investments are doing. And I keep Berkshire Hathaway on there. That's Warren Buffett's company. What is it, about 40000 a share? About 40000 Are you kidding me? <laughs> 40000 a share. How, 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 how naive of you. How, how, today, how today, today, today it is va- a share of Her- Berkshire Hathaway, if you want to buy it. This is the prime oh, stock. There's a, there's, a secondary, there's a secondary that's cheaper, but the, the expensive one. Two hundred ninety-four thousand three hundred and eighty-five dollars and thirty-four cents a share. Holy crap! <laughs> a share. Price. Oh, and and it didn't. It did. It, uh, it it did well today. It went up two hundred and eighty-five uh, dollars. dollars today. Yeah. So um, He's, Warren Buffett says he keeps that price high so that he doesn't get a bunch of little investors. I, you know. Well, that's for the, the that's for their I think their A stock, their B stock yeah. is cheaper and more common. I I was in college and I was ready to put uh, all my savings, which was five hundred bucks, in Facebook, and it was at seventeen dollars a share, and now now it's at like one hundred seventy dollars. About a share. ten years ago, my business manager just put all my money at in Vanguard, and he picked a whole bunch of things to have play against each other. And occasionally, he changes them around. Brilliant and I, man, huh? Brilliant man. That's a very good investment. Vanguard is one of the best investments well, out there. Well, in, ten, low, in, in 10 years, oh, it's it's grown $32,000. Yeah, that's where my uh, retirement, a lot of my retirement's in there. How, yeah. how much did it grow this year with yeah, Trump's presidency? That's right. Today, <laughs> he got Trump. Rally, <laughs> no, no, he said today in the rally that the stock market went up 39%. Yeah. Uh, you know something though. Uh, it, yes, it affects me because I have stock. Right. Uh, it does not affect affect the common man, and it doesn't affect the economy. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. It's it's just a gambling game that's being played, yep. and he can say how it's gone up and how it's gone down. Yeah, I've, I've made some money this year off of Trump. There's no question hey, about it. We're um, all on Gabnet. We're all the common man. He, exactly. <laughs> you know. So, and and when we're talking about buying Bitcoin, we're really common. Litecoin. Uh, white, get in Litecoin. Now, is it Litecoin or Whitecoin? Like, <clears throat> light. L-I-T-E. L-I-T-E. Here it says Litecoin uh, price resumes March towards $110. You said you were, what, $160? I, I, bought, I bought at $98. It's, I just got a notification that's at $150 uh, a couple minutes ago. All right. Uh, and there's something, a tweet from Warren Buffett says if... Uh, Hashtag Litecoin hits 150 by tomorrow. I'll send one dollar Litecoin to everyone that retweets this warranty. That's, that's all can't. BS. <laughs> that's, that's that's all BS. Yeah, and no. I just I just don't I just don't understand it. I mean that it's it's virtual. If we, if we ride this out, I'll give everybody money on Gabnet. <laughs> Gabnet bucks. <laughs> well, you do hey. know Bitcoin's gonna gonna blow up. Oh. Yeah, but the the thing is, every, I I feel like everybody's gonna go. Bitcoin's gonna crash, and everybody's gonna put their money in it's Litecoin. Like, it's like they the, they want to ride it up. They want to ride the next thing. It's like the tulip market in in Holland. Yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah. Uh, 
So I mean, I got one stock that I play with, and that's Square. Remember Square? Oh, yeah. oh the credit Peter card or... thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I because my wife uses it for her um, jewelry business, and I bought it when it was an IPO at thirteen bucks, and it it's almost forty. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Good for you. I bought. Yeah. Uh, I I invested in uh, Fitbit a few years ago, and that that took a tank on me. That's yeah. I lost a lot of money. Well, what? what? Now, why would that take a tank? That 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 Fitbit? that's a real company sells a ton of those things. Apple, it's competition. Apple Watch, Garmin, all that shit. They they it's, they have a horrible CEO. Uh, it's they, they don't know how to do projections. All that. It's 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 just nuts. I mean, they they really screwed the pooch on that. Really, they, they have a good business, but they uh, it's it's the leadership in Fitbit that's really killing them. Mm-hmm. Plus, there's a lot of competition. Yeah. But I see people with those Fitbits everywhere. I know. If it's a Fitbit, you know, it looks like a Fitbit, but it might not be. Well, yeah, Jeff uh, uh, used one 10,000 steps today. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. 10,000, Jeff. 10,000. I know. Well, of course. Damn. Well, of course. Make I, me tired. I, 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 here's one I don't know what, what I should do. I've got a uh, uh, Apple Watch. I love it. It's, I like I like my Apple Watch. Yeah. I got the first generation. I haven't worn yeah. it in a while, but and I wondered whether I should buy the one that you can use without your uh, without your iPhone because the the Apple Watch really works by having a Bluetooth connection to your iPhone, and so it picks up a lot of the information from your iPhone. Um, I'm letting them work out the bugs first. Well, the because new they said there was a lot of bugs in it. Well, yeah, I yeah. agree. Well, the new one, as I say, has has a, it can run independently of having your iPhone. And then I thought about it, and I said, "But I take my iPhone wherever I go anyway." Yeah. yeah. So yeah, why exactly. in the world would I want a watch? That that's for people that leave their phones at home when they're going to work out or or run so, and whatever. Right. Yeah. For, for you, it's not it's not worth it. It's probably would, not I worth get it. it. No. no. And, 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 and top of that, if I want to listen to music on it, I have to have um, uh, Bluetooth earphones, and I can buy cheap ones somewhere, or I can go buy those hash pipes that you put oh, in your ear. Pipes, yeah. that, that, you know the the Apple earphones don't fit me right, and they're uncomfortable. They they, my, they don't stay in my. They, they, they're a lot like the ones you get with you know in For shape. Free. Yeah. yeah, and and I can't get them to stick in my ear unless I lick them and stick them <laughs> in my ear so they have a little grab. Do you find that, Mark? I don't it, have those. You don't have those? No. no you I, know what's... I you use, the I use these. Do you have the wireless or the, the wire? These are edemotics, got, and I, I have sponges right now. that yeah. fit in my ear, yeah. and then it seals oh. my phone. What do you have, uh, did you say there? I, I have I have the wired and you know what's funny is I wear um I wear a jacket a North Face jacket every day to work and I I plug my earphones in and when I move around in my chair at my desk they shock me I get shocked in the ear oh really <laughs> things nice. like fucking produce electricity they <laughs> fucking I, set me on fire at my desk my earphones I have custom made uh, uh plugs there we go ear there we go the you one know. percent so, you know, they're, they're uh, uh, Bose earphones, but the... 10 terabytes the, each, right? Yeah. yeah three Bitcoin. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, these these are custom molded, so you put, them in, you put them in your ear, and they're very comfortable, and they stay there. Yeah, well, I use these, uh, uh, the Enomotics, which have a, as you can see, it's like a sponge... Yeah, on it. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and, and what you do is, is you take these and you scrunch them up, and then you put them in your ears, and then it expands outward. Yeah, and that's, that's you get a nice like, seal. Uh, yeah, and it, they never like, fall out. I mean, I can go like this, like crazy. And didn't you used to have um, uh, the, uh, beats? the beats? No, one? I never. Oh, no, had beats. They I fell thought apart. you did. He had yeah. beats. Yeah, Phil. they they fell apart. What pieces of garbage? <laughs> Uh, over the ears headphones, they were they were trash. Yeah, I would recommend ter- them. never. Yeah. yeah, they're they're overpriced, just garbage. Well, actually, what it was was a situation of black people taking advantage of black people. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm they, they, 
And I, I, I put on a pair of Beats earphones once to hear what's so great about Beats earphones. And I figured I'd put them on, I'd hear the sound and go, I got to well, get me one of these. It's the bass. No. They, they, it, they, do, produce, they that, do produce a good, uh, a good bass. That's I'm all they do, nice. though. That's all they do. They don't have a great so, yeah, sound. These that's, things, that's these Etymotics are the yeah. best uh, earphones I've ever had. You know, great sound on them. What's that? The Etymotics earphones. Oh, yeah. And they now, have other. They have Etymotics that cost two grand. For uh, they have like nine drivers in them and and things yeah. like that. Yeah, but this is just fine. And and it they have other ways you can plug it into your ear. They have these these things that you can uh, uh, put on that just go all the way like into your ear. But I don't. Like this. Feel they, custom made. Well, no, not like that. <laughs> not like that. These are these are like they they. they how can I? It's, they, they 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 go all the way in. You can't. You have to put them all the way into your ear, and then it forms a perfect seal. The idea oh. of the perfect seal is these don't work if you don't have a good seal. But if you have a good seal, you really get a lot of bass. And actually, I've been using these a lot, and I probably need to replace them. I have I buy the you know the buds all the time, and I replace them. And when I'm using it with my iPhone, I get great sound out of them. Just terrific sound out of them. So. You know. Hey, what's Alex? What's yeah. on your uh, what's on your shirt? Is oh, that Obama? Well, yeah, this is Obama. I bought this in is China. He's he wearing a commie a commie mask. I bought this. In, I bought this in China, and so I also I bought like the it. hat in China. <laughs> you know, so I'm I'm being my communist self tonight. I have the little red book in the other room. I should have brought that in tonight and just held it I feel up. Like you know, I, I heard uh, I heard Phil talking about him the other night. He, I think I think he's a good guy in who, general. Who Phil? Obama. Obama. Oh, Phil too. Oh, but uh, no. I feel like Obama's a good family. Obama man. I mean, was his, his. His daughter is uh, going through her growth period. Oh, but, of course, uh, of course. But uh, they, they, they. I don't, I don't give her shit for that. I'm like, that's a normal. You know, nobody can give her shit for that. That's a normal teenager. It's like. Hey. The woman Bush in her twenties or whatever. Listen, uh, yeah. one of the would, one of the one of the Bush daughters. Uh, um, she got pregnant. Jen, like, what, Jenna, I think, was like you know drunk like, all the time, and you know. Uh, yeah pulling her dress over her head and saying, I bet you can't see me, you know, things like that, you know. <laughs> uh, and, 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 and now she's one of the hosts of the Today Show. So go figure, you know. Um, Lock her up. No, but the Obamas, were a, the Obamas were a lovely family. And, and I don't think anyone can I, say. I think they were a little too it, strict, but uh, that's, that's just my opinion. Well, they were, they were. But they were honest people too. I mean, were, I don't think if for however much Phil hates the uh, Obama, he can ever say you call Obama a crook. You know. Well, yeah. How honest is he saying that he qualifies to be president of the United States? And he was born in Kenya. Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Right. Exactly. <laughs> um, and if you believe that, I can no, I can maybe introduce you to your next wife, Leanne Tweeden. I don't. I don't yeah. think you'll. I don't think you'll have another candidate as good as Obama for twenty years. Yeah, well, I. Yeah. I agree with you. Uh, you know, I don't think he was a good candidate in the beginning because he was inexperienced. But by the end, he learned the job pretty well. He yeah. was. He was kind of like he. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. He's the last. Uh, I, I. I don't know. You got, like when I when I think about the Democrats that are going to run for president, I don't see. A good one. I mean, I had Martin O'Malley, who was uh, a governor of Maryland, who was terrible. He was he was a crook. Yeah. Uh, and he's he's a young guy. You know what I wish would happen? I, I wish that uh, <laughs> I hate to say this because I'm playing into Phil. But, uh, no, I, I, I wish <laughs> uh, Bill Clinton would go away. Quit bothering us. He's getting a little boring now you know that's, that's I, the kind of thing. It's just like, a little too like much a little too much with trying the seductive quality when you don't have it anymore you it's, know it's <laughs> like the uh i know you don't watch sports that much but it's like the uh the sports guys that just uh like peyton manning who who just played past their time yeah you know exactly so you know but in Clinton. his day, boy, and he was. Hillary, Hillary should have just. She should have. If she would have went away after the election, I think she would have been, like, as sixty percent popular. As my father said years ago, uh, at at his prime, Bill Clinton could have, uh, uh, what was it? He's, Take, he's like he he could have charmed the shine off a blue serge suit. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, he was he was a very seductive guy, but. Uh, Anyway, hey, that's the theme. Do you hear that? 
Yes, you hear that. Yeah. Uh, Phil, thank you so much for being with us tonight, the lovely and attractive Phil Meyer. Uh, and uh, then we. Uh, does he know you as uh, Ben Schwarzman or uh, Alex Ben? <laughs> as Alex <laughs> Bennett, yeah. Uh, Jeff Stein. <laughs> thank you, Jeff. And Rob Alfano. Adios. Always great and good to hear your voice again on GabNet. We're making up some new spots now, as even as we speak. Kevin, thank you. Thank you, too, to Mike for being with us this evening. Mark, always a pleasure when you call. And Je you know something, Matt? You should do it more often. This has been a just really wonderful, and the same to you, too. I mean that affectionately. Anyway, everybody, wave goodbye, okay? Yeah, there they go. There goes the citizen panel. And uh, I will now hang up uh, the Skype line and get off of it so the next show can go on. That's Matt. <laughs> Matt. That's Jack and Amy over most of this same gab net. Uh, I will see you, uh, let's see, oh, we also have uh, connections at uh, 1 o'clock this morning. I'll see you again on uh, Tuesday for another edition of The Ramble. I'm Alex Bennett, and as always, uh, we'll see you same time, same station in life, and in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. Bye.